yet if all were to befall him, I, I couldn't live with myself. This might be worth a read. A thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest. You've returned. Good timing, too. I have first and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Good. Then let us be on our way. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Look, master, goblins! We have no means of exploiting our enemy troops. Hard, be sure to avoid open flame. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. We ought not tarry, but deliver what we have retrieved post haste. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claims are true. Our kingdom sees many pretenders, and they are not dealt with lightly. Best hope you're not one of them. Regardless, you would do well not to invite my mistrust. Is there nothing we can do about this obstacle? I'm ready to attack, Master. Might I be of assistance? Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, What? An arisen. By all of them. An arisen? Another protect- It is uncertain. This one- What? Impossible. You I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely. All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. I've just had a thought. Every master I've ever served has favored different tactics. 
One party I joined consisted only of ranged specialists. Now there's a thought. An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. I'll go and open the chest. Everyone all right. More marks of the dragon's fury. It's... Those I'll handle. Trounced our foe well and true. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! might await us on the road ahead. to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. Are generally used as a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. Now, what might that be? Let us ponder how best we proceed. Ah! 
I knew that I could count upon your strength arisen. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Arisen, I knew you loved this world too much to... What's this? We're trapped! Attitude, sir. It would seem I misjudged you. I had taken you for another force arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the Oxcart. Tis your decision. Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. That ladder looks promising, but we'll have to drop it down from above. Rotten luck! Uh, we've got goblins! Now, uh, leave it. Nicely done. Nice of you to say so. I thought so. Avoid the lane at any cost of it. You can douse them all. Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox cart, then. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their cost. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. 
Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the sovereign. The only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the council's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place, word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your Majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consarn it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? Twould seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! That oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. Oh, should I get up?